Hello, my name is Elham Abdurazogian and I am a graduate student of nanoscience and nanoengineering at Istanbul Technical University. I'm going to talk about polymeric fibers containing graphene. <laughs> Nanofibers as one-dimensional nanomaterials uh, have special properties like lightweight diameters in the range of tens to hundreds of nanometers, controllable pore structures, three-dimensional interconnected structures, high surface volume ratios, high mass transport properties, and they have diverse applications in many fields like tissue, en tissue engineering, drug delivery, rechargeable batteries such as lithium ion or sodium ion batteries, cancer diagnosis, seed coating materials, sensors, and filtration. There are uh, different methods to produce uh, nanofibers, uh, but uh, electric spinning and centrifugal spinning are one of the um, popular ones. Uh, electric spinning is a unique approach using electrostatic forces to produce fine fibers. Uh, to produce uh, fine fibers uh, from polymer solutions or melts, and the fibers uh, thus uh, produced have a thinner diameter. Uh, from nanometer to micrometer and a large surface uh, area than those obtained from conventional spinning processes. A DC voltage in the range of several uh, tens of uh, kilovolts is necessary to generate the electric spinning. Most of the polymers are dissolved in some solvents before electric spinning and when it completely dissolves, forms polymer solution. The polymer fluid is then introduce into the capillary tube for electric spinning. In the electric spinning process, a polymer solution held by its surface tension at the end of a capillary tube is subjected to an electric field a and diameter. an electric charge uh, is from produced the on the liquid surface due to this electric field. When the electric field applied uh, reaches a criti critical value, the repulsive electrical forces overcome the surface tension forces. Eventually, a charge jet of the solution is ejected from the tip of the Taylor cone and an unstable and a rapid whipping solution is ejected from the tip of the Taylor cone and an unstable and a rapid whipping of the jet occurs in the space between the capillary tip and collector which leads to evaporation of the solvent leaving a polymer behind. This process has some advantages like the simplicity of process, low cost equipment, ability to produce fibers from nanometer to microns and continuous process. However, it has some disadvantages such as safety problems due to using high voltage electricity and low production rate. <laughs> the next method is centrifugal spinning. Uh, it consists of a spinneret which is located in the center of the spinning platform and contains two small nozzles, uh, several co uh, road collectors uh, which are positioned in the outer perimeter. A DC motor, which is used to rotate the spinneret, and the speed controller, which is uh, for adjusting the rotational speed of the spinneret. This centrifugal spinning system is simple and is capable of eliminating the limitations of electric spinning process. Working principle uh, is a polymer solution is fed into the spinneret, which is rotated at high speeds. When the rotational speed reaches a critical value, the centrifugal force overcomes the surface tension of the solution and ejects the liquid jet from each nozzle. The jet then undergoes a stretching process accompanied by rapid evaporation of the solvent and is eventually deposited on the road collectors forming dried nanofibers. This process has advantages such as produce nanofibers quickly, no high voltage, high production yield and simple structure. Uh, uh, nanofibers are made up of um, 
not polymers, more than uh, 100 polymers uh, have been spun into continuous fibers with a diameter in nanometer scale and a length from tens to meters and more. Natural and synthetic polymers or the blends of them have been used in the various applications such as polyacrylnitrile, polymethylmetacryl, metacrylate, polystyrene, polyvinyl alcohol, polyvinyl pyrolidone, and etc. Moreover, choosing an appropriate solvent to prepare polymer solutions is an essential step in its spinability because polymer dissolution in solvent is the first step in the process of nanofibers. Some of these solvents are dimethylformamide or DMF, DMC, ethanol, acetone, water, and etc. <laughs> Graphene um, is a strong, light, transparent, and a conductor of heat and electricity. It has excellent um, electronic transport properties, extremely high mechanical stiffness, exceptional electrical conductivity, high aspect ratio, and relatively low cost fabrication. Graphene induced uh, electrospun polymeric and carbon nanofibers were studied for different applications, including energy storage systems, electronics, chemical sensors, and medicine, owing to the properties like large surface area, stiffness, transparency, high thermal, and electrical conductivity. Here in this work, uh, we uh, uh, produce a uh, PAN um, and um, PMMA fibers containing different ratios of graphene were produced by centrifugal spinning technique. Nanofibers containing 3, 5, and 7 graphene based on polymer way uh, were produced. Uh, a morphological and structure characterization was carried out using SEM, TEM, and FTIR. Uh, the effect of graphene on nanofiber diameters and the distribution of graphene in the nanofibers have been studied. Also, the morphology of the fibers prepared in a nanocomposite structure was examined using SEM, and the effect of graphene on nanofiber morphology was also determined by TEM. Here we can see some images of uh, PAN um, PMMA fibers. At different magnifications, uh, nanofibers show uh, smooth surface without apparent bit formation and long fibrous morphology uh, with homogeneously distributed diameters, while the morphology of PAN PMMA graphene nanofibers demonstrate rough surface and creation of pores along the fibers. Also, the formation of beads uh, are seen on the surface of uh, this uh, uh, pan, uh, PMMA fibers. The average fiber diameter of uh, these fibers uh, were measured, and uh, this one has uh, diameter diameter of uh, 1,700 nanometer, 1,461 nanometer, 1,294 nanometer, and 975 nanometer, respectively. It was observed that the fiber diameters uh, decreased as uh, introducing graphene, uh, and uh, when the uh, amount of graphene increased from 3, three to 7, uh, the average uh, diameter fibers uh, also decreased. So adding graphene decreased the polymer amount fed to the nozzles and led to decreased fiber diameters. Uh, and here we can see the temp image of nanofibers which show that uh, PMMA uh, fibers uh, had a smooth surface with one phase uh, while uh, PAN PMMA graphene based nanofibers surface became rougher uh, 
with graphene on the surface of nanofibers. It was seen that graphene was uniformly distributed in fibers, um, which is beneficial for performance of the result of nanofibers. And uh, here we, our aim is to produce anodes uh, from carbon nanofibers containing graphene in energy storage devices like lithium and sodium ion batteries. Uh, which graphene could enhance the conductivity of carbon nanofibers extremely. At the end, we can see the Fourier uh, transform in freight spectroscopy uh, analysis, uh, which is um, here um, to examine the chemical structures of the thin nanofibers. Uh, analyses were performed between uh, 450 to 4000. Wavelength in absorbance mode at room temperature. Tan uh, has the characteristic absorption band at 2240, which is assigned to the uh, CN stretching of acrylic, acryl, um, sorry, acrylonitrile uh, unit in the polymer chain. Uh, PMMA has the peak at 1730, which attributed to the characteristic absorption band of carbonyl stretching. So here in the FTR um, spectra of PAN PMMA nanofibers demonstrate the peaks at uh, 1000. 731, uh, 2,241, uh, and 2,988, uh, respectively, uh, indicating the presence of both PMMA and uh, PAN. Uh, so here, the addition of graphene, no change was observed in the FTIR spectra of um, PAN PMMA graph, uh, indicating no peaks for graph um, structures. So adding graphene um, makes no difference in the FTIR uh, spectra of uh, nanofibers. So thank you for listening uh, and these are my references.